on today's episode of the program. We see the lines and forms of contemporary artist Shola Obaya. Then the works of art you sent in on our various social media platforms. We see that after our wordsmith for this week. A warm welcome to the show. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Our wordsmith today is Ndubisi Josiah, who sent in this piece from Kaduna State, titled Heroes. Avatars and forerunners, their steps encrypted as Lucy Beam's pillars, venerated by generations unceasing, unmatched, as my heart seeks to find. Heroes rarely observed or seen, these unfolding are empty shells of those that we call heroes by days. Maybe the went with the cloak. Our scepters left behind the irritate scoundrels, shadows that burdens earth more. Heroes are rare, phantomed me, from my forest licking hot, whipping enduring all my night, morning untold gloom furiously sway, sapping all hopes reprieve of light. Abyss stares on vacant seats of heroes. Then he reasoned inane heart that heroes subsist sand grains. All our heroes, if right, is done. A hero's smiles suffice. Be a stick of lightened candle. Legends are fabric less of earth. Heroes be amongst little shines. Nice one, Undubisi. That's one poet who is always catching my eye with his lines. Just like this contemporary artist who believes that forms is the basis for any artistic expression and lines convey the artist's feelings. He reveals just that at a solo show in Lagos, which took place before the COVID-19 pandemic. <laughs> An art exhibition is an opportunity for an artist to display the body of works he's been doing in the studio. And when he decides to go solo, it's a rare platform to really put his idea and style out there for the audience to understand his artistic forms. That's what contemporary artist Olushala Obaya is doing with his lines and forms, which shows his unique technique. The title of the exhibition is Lines and Form. The, when you talk about lines, you see that line is one of the basic tools in the element of art. And no matter any drawing you want to do, any design you want to do, any concept you want to do, everything started from lines. When the line is enclosed, it will give you a form. From form, you get what you want. That is a line is one of the basic things that you must work and make sure you interact with it. And because line has different ways, it diversifies to different areas in terms of uh, the movements. The movement, the lines, the way you want to show your movement of that lines. Like set example, like the Spiria, we have a, something like a circle. We have zigzag. We have a lot. And all this line too, you can generate it through common objects, which you can see in the write-up some of my colleagues that wrote about me. I think uh, Obayan's works are aesthetically appealing and uh, they are impressive in the form of their creativity. He's an artist that engages with a multiple set of motifs and colors and blends them into a very uniform whole that is very attractive and meaningful. In terms of the substance and content of his works, 
is reflecting the socio-cultural realities of Nigeria in a very positive sense. And uh, his works are very uh, pragmatic. Uh, they are full of textures, patterns of culture, and they represent what the, is happening in the society. So the artist is talking to everybody, is talking to the society, and is trying to show us what values that we should imbibe. He is inspired by two art movements popular in the western and eastern part of Nigeria, Ona, which began from a group of artists at the Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife, or Shun State, to Uli, made popular by the University of Nigeria and Suka in Enugu State. A combination of patterned and textural lines from these two cultures give birth to his art. I have discovered that Obaya is, is being described as a crossbreed artist, someone who moves from the Amadou Bele University setting to OAU or University of Ife setting because of his adoption of the style that is known as Onaizen. So it's called a new honor artist. That is uh, the kind of uh, art that emphasizes colors, patterns, motifs, and that is reflective, is reflected in many of the work that we see here. On the whole, it's an impressive assemblage of works that will uh, make you, leave you awestruck as uh, either an art connoisseur or as a scholar and as an individual I must commend him for the excellence of the presentation. Quite some years back I started this work from gouache colors where we have a lot of assorted colors of gouache and this color you are talking about when you mix it, I mean self-mix, you will get a lot of vibrant colors. I love playing with colors. But later I discovered that uh, the gouache itself has similar to what we call acrylic now. And acrylic colors has a kind of uh, very powerful in terms of brightness and very sharp. Later I discovered that let me go for acrylic. And all this work you have seen, I use acrylic color for it. Titles such as Patterns of Life, Celebration, We Live the Way We Are, and about 20 pieces, all done on acrylic on canvas, reveal these patterns, lines, forms, and textures which have left an impression on the visitors. This style of, uh, of, the, of the artist is very interesting. It's full of patterns, it's full of textures, it's full of uh, lines, and they are all very enchanting. So the artist is uh, as common with a style that is very unique. And the colors of the artist are very bright, and the walls here illuminate the hall. And what that means is that the artist makes use of vibrant colors, colors that help the audience to appreciate uh, his sense of choice of color, his sense of judgment, his creativity, and his dexterity. I personally, I learned a lot from Mr. Olushola Obayo, and I'm so happy that uh, he's coming out now, and this, this exhibition is a testimony to what uh, the skill that he has. Um, I personally am so happy to see this exhibition to stage because it's been a long while that we, all of us, even the students, the colleagues in the school, we are waiting to see him exhibiting. And I hope that from here, he will be able to take it out and a lot of people will be able to see this. So this exhibition, as he tagged it, uh, you know, honor from the, uh, the this expression of patterns. So the lines of expression, which has already shown in quite a number of the old works, you can see lines everywhere. So I'm so happy to see Mr. Obanyo coming out.
I, I, I can, I can, I'm proud to say I'm a student because he actually imbibed a lot of knowledge into me. He's an artist who is um, maturing in his work. He's an artist who has been able to reflect you know, many years of experience in his work. So I must say that I'm delighted at uh, the aesthetics that is embedded in all the works, the sweet use of color, the powerful use of lines, the unblemished uh, interplay of forms. I mean, the fact that most of the forms are actually lost in the lines, which of us, you know, which suggests the title of the show, is very ex exemplary. This contemporary artist has a Bachelor of Art in Industrial Design from Abadabalu University, Zaria, Kaduna State, and a Master's Degree in Visual Arts from the Kwa State College of Education, with 25 years of art experience under his belt. The works of art you sent in recently captured a myriad of issues, but the coronavirus pandemic is still on the table. And these are the works of art that made the cut for this week. Well, before they start talking about the coronavirus pandemic through their works of art, they look at the Muslim festival that just ended and the focus is on Rams. Now, let's start with this one called The One That Got Away. It's a watercolor and pen work. Then Akiola Olaiton has this willow chapel on paperwork called the festival. Then Alassane Dua remembers the Durba with his pastel on paperwork. It used to be one of the colorful ceremonies to look forward to during the sala, but it couldn't take place, no thanks to COVID-19. Then Gabriel Davu has this one he calls Stay Calm. It's a biro on paperwork. Odoemi Uluwashinu has The Victims done with mixed media. Then Game of Strength is a pastel on paperwork done by Steven Yinka. Salami Aziz has this mixed media work called Prudence. With all the artists talking about Rams, there's a deviation with this work called Never Easy is done with acrylic on canvas by Deloxy Chini. While Sheung Odeemi says everyone should face the reality with this acrylic on canvas work because we're still in a pandemic so we should not throw caution to the wind. Then Joel wraps it up with staying home safe, a pastel on paper work. So he says if you don't have anything to do outside, stay home and stay safe. And those are the works of art you sent in this week. We appreciate you for sending them in and we encourage you to keep them coming. Lovely works there. Thank you for sending them in and we'll take more in a moment and that's when Art House returns. So do stay with us. Theatre, because of its nature, both text, images and multimedia effects has a wider base of communication with an audience 
That's why I call it the most social of the various art forms. Weak people revenge. Strong people forgive. Intelligent people ignore. We have videos and more images that capture trending topics while other artists just reveal their creative process.
Yes, I'm sure you noticed that pop-up card as well. It's been a while, but interesting concept, I must say. I remember when cards used to be the norm. Do you still send greeting cards? Let me know your thoughts on any of our social media platforms. And talking about feedback, here's more on what inspires an artist to create. Dauda Yusuf, on who? Well, my creations are emotionally tied to my instinct, but the depth of indulgence was inspired by my friend from Turkey. She even supported me financially to complete my program. Timothy Olalikon, my experience inspires me. I am a paper artist. I create realistic figures. It's a journey that started in 2012 when I didn't have a job after my first degree at the Ahmadubela University Zaria. Instead of being idle, I took advantage of the newspapers I had at my disposal. Fast forward years later, I now specialize in paper collage as an artist. Ganyu Isa. First off, my dad, an artist, made me realize how good I could become if I studied art in school. Sometimes I'm unsure of what inspires me, but I'm usually drawn by something within me. Olamide Olani. My mom was the first major source of inspiration. Herizi Pencils. My inspiration comes from why I was created. I believe I'm a solution to the world because as a pencil in the hands of the creator, we are supposed to impact everyone around us. Although I'm discouraged by family and friends, but I try to focus on God. Bello Adilani. My inspiration began from childhood. As a child, I enjoyed drawing and reading books. My teachers noticed that and encouraged me, but I abandoned the idea in secondary school till I got to the university. While studying mass communications, my friends studying art and industrial design noticed my incredible talent and encouraged me to change course. When I look back, no regrets. I knew I was born to be an artist, but my family never saw a future in that, so I bounced around doing what everyone thought was the best course for a bright future. Art still found me, and I created my own style of painting. Coming up on the next episode... Female artists are their voices to the many others condemning sexual and gender-based violence. Plus, more of your fabulous images which you have put on our various social media platforms. So you definitely wouldn't want to miss Ad House. Art House experience doesn't have to end when the show's not on television. Interact with us on any of our social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on Channels TV's YouTube page. Send your works of art to Art House on Channels Television by joining the group on Facebook. We are everywhere. That's Art House today. We appreciate you for always taking time to enjoy the show and hook up with me online where the conversation continues. I don't take it for granted. Remember, you can see this and any other edition on our various social media platforms. I'm Melinda Kinlami, encouraging you to stay safe and keep being creative.